The Square Ball Podcast. Hello there, Dan, Michael and Rob here with The Weekly Show, which is brought to you in association with our favourite legal firm. Can you guess who that is? I bet you can't. Uh, I was going to be Levi Solicitors, I think. I was going to ask Rob, why? You've, spo- oh. you've spoiled this surprise now. Spoiler. Uh, Rob, you've got a bad memory. Who do you think it is? Uh, I don't actually know any legal firms. Do you know any? Levi Solicitors. Are they the best? Yep. Cool. That's in my opinion anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's not an objective fact, is it? Because we don't know all the legal firms, but we know for sure these are good guys. Indeed. LeviceListers.co.uk forward slash the square ball for a 10% discount on your legal fees. I mean, that's a hell of a sell, isn't it? We don't know for sure that they're the best, but in our opinion, they are. It's like the the Carlsberg thing, isn't it? You say probably, except Carlsberg's not good, but Levi Solicitors (laughs) are good. So um, trust us on this one. Super. Uh, Will's probate conveyancing and so on. Uh, LeviceListers.co.uk forward slash the square ball. 10% discount can be yours on your legal fees there. Right, straight into the weekly news then, shall we? Let's um, let's indulge in some winning. All we do is win, 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 as the song goes. Well, apart from... Um, oh, on the football. On the football. Right. Drawing a, drawing a defeat, wasn't it? Mm. Didn't enjoy that bit. Um, yeah, it's taking a bit of a shine off the old winning of stuff, hasn't it? And it's, is it the internal player of the year thing tonight? Is that tonight or tomorrow? It's this week anyway, isn't it, I think? I think it might be tonight. Is it yeah, Thursday night? Um, we record? So that's going to be a, a sad affair. Are you going? Get your suit on? Do you see those prices? Well, yeah, fair enough. And also, I've not got that suit in my head returned. <laughs> 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 After we wore it for our awards ceremony. Um, but we did well at the EFL awards, didn't we? So that was good. Somerville Player of the Year, Archie Young Player of the Year, um, Ampadu and Rute and Somerville in the Team of the Year. Yep. So we should really go up. It was nice to see how angry opposition fans were getting about Ruta getting a uh, striker, wasn't he, in the team of the mm. year, having scored like five goals or something. But it was good just to upset some other people <laughs> and the fact that he wore trainers, which was nice. And Smodix was in there, wasn't he? So he was playing behind Ruta, so they can interchange and Smodix yeah. can just run from deep and score the goals in this theoretical team that nobody cares about. God knows someone's going to need to score the goals in that team because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it ain't going to be Ruta with his wild <laughs> shooting. I do love him, but yeah, some of his shots um, maybe don't quite deserve a striker position. Um, speaking of suits, by the way, did you see the picture of Kin and Dewsbury Hall suit, which we will put that on the video version about now? Mm, interesting. Which, which essentially, it's uh, it's got the tailor's stitching as a as a sort of a fashion as a yeah as an like, embellishment, isn't it? It's how they sort of mark them up, isn't it, when they're cutting the fabric and stuff? But yeah. it's all left on, or he might have done it himself with Tipex, right? I can't, I can't have a look that. I might have got bored on the train and just set about it. Um, but it looks terrible. Yeah, I once owned, owned a jacket a little bit like this that I, in my one moment of frivolous stupidity, um, bought it from Harvey Nichols, wore it twice. Most in here, isn't he? No, I was, I, was, I was just in my 20s. It was a stupid move. <laughs> I think you've covered you've covered in the past your, uh, your, your financial woes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of shopping at Harvey Nichols. Yeah, just... It'd be fine, won't it? Yeah, it was a nice suit jacket, but just I was completely ill suited to it. <laughs> you had a leather jacket for a time. Yeah, it was a good leather jacket, though, actually. I think I, re- I came across a picture of us with Lucas Radaby, and you were wearing that. Yeah. The other day. That was that we both looked young. That was during my biker, biker phase. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, rock, the rock and roll years, they, then, yeah, weren't they? Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. And now, obviously, um, being middle aged and stuff, I, can, I think I can go back into leathers as well now because I need to get a motorbike. For the proper, if I'm going to do the old, the crisis, the old midlife crisis properly, you've mm. got to get a motorbike, haven't you? At that point, yeah, I suppose so. Rather than you, you've got a, you've got a reckless sports car as it is. <laughs> Leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair to uh, Dewsbury Hall, his suit jacket takes the attention away from his shirt, which doesn't appear to be an actual shirt. Mm. What's he done there? Talk me through it. It's just like a bit of. It looks like a bit of folded material. Like he sort of wrapped a dressing gown around him or something. Oh, he's dressed like a bloody... He's like a Jedi or something, isn't mm. he? Yeah. Wow. I hadn't even spotted that. Good yeah. eyes, Rob. I'd mm. love to be rich and tasteless. It'd be great. <laughs> I think you get sold things, don't you? But like, this is more expensive. And you go, oh, I can't afford expensive things, mm. so I suppose I'd probably better buy it. Yeah, okay. Just mm. just pop down to um, Asda. That's what I'd do if I was a footballer for a yeah. suit. It's a bit like... A George ju- Asda. Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> It's a bit like Junior Fair point. Is it his pink Lamborghini or something? You do think, mm. if you're a football and you're rich, you might as well have a pink Lamborghini. Yeah. You sort of owe it to yourself, don't you? What ridiculous car would you get if you were a footballer? I just wouldn't. 
I don't think. Would you just drive something sensible? Yeah. Just try something that's fine. Well, why don't you just why do you lean into what I'm asking you and just have a bit of fun instead of being a miserable? Because <laughs> I don't because I don't know any cars. <laughs> I was say, yeah. a, 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 Would you get a fast one with stripes on it? A Ferrari. Um, You're only saying that because the Ferrari garage is opposite the window, isn't it? Yeah, it's up one of them. They do look nice. Yeah. I have to say. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably just buy one of them. Just get but one of them. When my kids were here once, we had, we went and had a look when it was shut, and you can see some of the prices. One of them was two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Feels like a lot of money. That that feels like a house rather than a car to me. But. Yeah. Um, I suppose if you earn that in a month, whatever. Uh, I don't know what you're looking at me for. I don't really know any cars. Yeah, probably a very shiny one. But <laughs> go in. What, what sort of noise would it make? Yeah, I've got, <laughs> the most, I've got a lot of money. Sell me the most expensive one. So. I'd ask uh, Duf, what's a good one to get? Because he used to have those. That... He had gold. He had a, it was wrapped gold and silver ones, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. He had, like, it was a big 4 by 4 that was silver. Then he had a, was it a Merc or something that was gold? I can't remember. Anyway, a man of a man of fine and modest taste. <laughs> Past winners of these uh, these awards, yeah, the, I, the I just EFL the, ones. What, what are these then, Michael? I just put them on the sheet to see if there's any kind of conclusion you can draw from people who've won it to be like, are you always a success when you win this? And it's not a bad record, actually. Mm. A couple like, of years back, when Deer and Elise were player and young yeah. player, presumably. You've got Ollie Watkins and Jude Bellingham there the year before. Yeah, you've got like Gareth Bales won it, um, Fab Delph. With Zaha, Lewis Cook was the young player in 2016. Delhi Alley, there's some, there's some, there's certainly some good winners. The Player of the Year is a little bit less consistent because you sometimes get people like Pat Bamford winning it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, no, he did well in 2015. Um, but sometimes there are people who are just good in that at that point, like Kevin Nolan winning it when he was like right in the middle of his career feels like a bit of a cheat. I know we're um, vindictive, horrible bastards. Mm. So it's nice to see 2013 winner Mata Vidra. Um, I can't pronounce his name properly, so apologies if I've mangled that. The year that Tommins won the Young Player of the Year, Matteo Vidra won the Player of the Year, mm. and I'm glad he's done nothing since he was pictured outside Leeds train station pretending to be coming to Leeds in a transfer. Mm. What? Why did he not sign? Did we just get the impression he wasn't asked? Probably about 10 million quid, wasn't it? it? Apparently like, Leeds were never actually going to sign him and he rocked up trying to sort of force oh. a move. Someone told me that he rocked up at Ellen Road and Bielsa was to speak to Bielsa and Bielsa was like, well, no, you don't play for me. Let's <laughs> <just> go home. <laughs> Follow Odin Wingy, did it? Just yeah, turned yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Uh, yeah, we've had quite a few past winners though. Beckford's won League One Player of the Year a couple of times. Um, Adam Forshaw won League One Player of the Year. Tom Adeyemi did. Oh, that was League One Apprentice of the Year actually, but you know. Big names, big names in there. And Billy Sharp won League One Player of the Year a decade apart, 2007 and 2017. Wow. Some wow. going, is that? It is. Well done, everybody. But I think the conclusion is um, he, the Archie Gray is the next Jude Bellingham stroke Gareth Bale. Right. Is what I took from it. Yeah. So, so that, Real Madrid. So that's good then. At some it? point. Great. Probably. Right. Um, what else are we talking about this week then? What's in the news? Is it Leeds United get, getting promoted or not? Because uh, Southampton won, didn't they? So they're within three points of us now, everybody. That final day is looking like fun, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I was. I didn't watch it, obviously, because I'm not. I'm making a point of not watching promotion rivals, but I did just see this. Thought I'll check in. About half an hour gone. See, so all oh, right, okay, oh, that's yeah. that's one. It's three 0 <laughs> Are you in the phase of having a day where you sort of talk yourself into it, going, "No, we're going to do this," and then the next day, like, "Oh, we fucked it." I'm in the current phase of talking myself into we might win the playoffs. Mm. I try not to think because we have to win them at some point. Yeah, don't we? Well, no. <laughs> yeah, at some point we'll win. We'll win a playoff, or at least score a goal in a playoff yeah. final. Yeah, that'd be good. It would, wouldn't it? Imagine, imagine being able to celebrate something. Going However, to Wembley, scoring a goal, and winning a game. But because I think, because I'm thinking in my, the way I'm justifying this, I was thinking we were going to go up automatically, and it was going to be a wonderful day at Ellen Road. I'm sensing that's not as likely anymore, but there could still be an even better day and a different day because we get to have a nice time at Wembley which I've never done before I had before the start of the season I'd convinced myself that was going to happen and now it's a possibility that we will end up in the playoffs I have absolutely no confidence but um, walking out the Blackburn game I was convincing myself that it's going to be like the league one promotion we're going to really mm. fall over the line bit of madness and then got to the pub and met a few mates and was trying to convince them of the same and they just really didn't want to hear it <laughs> and I thought, yeah, fair enough. But then Middlesbrough scored against Ipswich and everyone's like, no, we're going to do it. Sort of talking themselves around. But yeah, I don't know. It's mad. I mean, you, we've seen from the 
Leicester reaction on propaganda as well from their defeat to Plymouth when they were basically like, fuck this, absolutely no chance now. We, we're going to be out of the top two. We're never going to get back into it. To actually finishing the weekend, they're like, oh, okay, we're still in the top two. And with the game in hand, we can very easily go top again and it can all be fine. I've I've talked myself into the fact that we... It's, in, it's it's hanging in the balance, but we might just do it. There's no reason why we shouldn't, apart from ourselves. So if we can get our asses in gear, do it. I'm, I'm at the stage now where I'm, I kind of think we probably do need to win all three. Mm. But, I mean, we, we won bloody loads in a row, didn't we, this season? Yeah. It's more than possible. I genuinely have talked myself into the idea that we just need a goal to remind ourselves that we can score, which should then breed the confidence to secure a win. When you've won one, you can win another one after that, mm. and then another one. It is just about possible. Don't be scared. <laughs> I was looking at the um, this morning at the average points usually required to get promoted from the championship. And when I saw that we already have more, I was like, oh, I don't mm. need to see this now. It, Actually, it's not helping. It's not fair. <laughs> yeah. It's not fair. So um, what have we got then ahead of us in terms of the games? We've got Saturday. So in a couple of days, we've got West Brom um, are going to Leicester mm. while Southampton travel to Cardiff before we play on Monday. And Ipswich don't play for ages now. They don't play again until the summer. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be all right, wouldn't it? They've cancelled their games, yeah, because Coventry are in the FA Cup now, aren't they? Um, who they were meant to be playing them. But thankfully, Coventry are not going to be in the playoffs because at one point it was looking like that was also going to all need rearranging too because they were going to be in both the FA Cup final and the playoff final, which would be on consecutive days, which would be a little bit unfair on them. Um, but they, they're not going to get there now. So... By the time we play Borough, it could be Coventry have beaten Scum, which would be nice, and both Southampton and Leicester have lost, and Ipswich haven't got a game, so I can't get any points. So we could be fine again. Is it right that after we play QPR, Ipswich have still got to play three games? That is correct, mm. Rob, yes. I mean, oh, I'd, I'd just try to, again, convince myself. <laughs> saying, well, if you've got points on the board, that's so, the position well, you want to be. You do, but... you do want points on the board at this stage, don't you? If, if we were to somehow... Um, defy expectation and win both against both games against Middlesbrough and QPR you, you give yourself a pretty bloody good mm. chance of going up then and into Tuesday let's say next midweek is Leicester against Southampton as well so that's another one where they can't both win no so but they'll find a way do you, do you reckon yeah I think Ipswich might win that one actually <laughs> yes <laughs> with a 97th minute deflected winner mm. oh bloody hell fire yeah, it's, yeah, all, it's, it's, all, all, it's all pretty tense isn't it I'm not, I'm, I went through the I think I I bottomed out at about two thirty on on Saturday when we lost to Blackburn, mm. and I was saying like, on the shows before, like by the time it came to finishing with Phil on Saturday, about five thirty, I was like, oh, do you know what? It's not as bleak as I feared because Ipswich dropped points, and by uh, like by Sunday, I was like, oh, do you know what? We could do this. We could. I mean, I mean, it still has the look of a table which gives you a chance, which it didn't a few months ago, did it? You know, going coming out of Christmas, you would have if you could have seen this league table, you would obviously have gone, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely take that. Because yeah. we're still in with a real good chance of automatic, which truthfully was well out of our reach, wasn't it? And it looked like Leicester would drop maybe another 10 points or something for the, through the season, but they'd easily win it. And it turns out everyone's completely gone to shit and lost their minds. And the other side to this is, I think the the surprise, the shooting yourself in the foot bit, has now happened like the with the Blackburn game. So if we do balls it up from here, it won't be a surprise, so I can't be as disappointed as I was there then. There could be a few more shots in the chamber you than think? the old shooting, <laughs> shooting of feet. No, but if, if, we did, if we did genuinely sort of collapse and just fall away from here and end up in the playoffs, you wouldn't be surprised because you've seen it coming. Whereas before, I think, because we haven't had that awful kind of Wigany moment mm. this season and it happened against Blackburn, we've all gone, ah, I recognise that now. Maybe we've just got it out of our system. I've also tried to uh, rationalise this around the last playoff run. Because going into that, we were rubbish, weren't we? We had we finished the season and lost to Ipswich, in fact, didn't we? But we'd been bad for a while. And then we got to the playoffs, and all of a sudden, that first game against Derby, we just turned it on again. It was like, oh, actually, we're good. We're good again. And then up until uh, about the 45th minute at home, we're like, oh, we're good again. So you can turn form around, although ultimately, we did then completely um, fall to pieces in the second half. So I don't know what to make from that. Mm. I suppose it's that form can turn quickly and we need it to yeah but not I, so quickly that it can turn back the other way i think that'd be a good idea <laughs> i still think if you win all three games we probably go up yeah yeah i but just really it's quite an ask you just talking about the playoffs then just made me feel sick yeah you see I'm, i am read, genuinely ready to embrace it this year if if it happens i'm, I'm sort of ready to embrace it oh yeah i feel yeah because 
I've been trying to like reframe my thinking around all this in that if you ever want to do anything in football, it involves high stakes days, days where jeopardy is all that is present in the stadium, mm. win or lose, and it all goes to shit, a cup final or a playoff final. That's the, that's the name of the game, and it? it's, it's, you have to embrace the jeopardy to do anything where it all can it can all fall apart. I think we only feel sort of comfortable if we're running away with something. Mm. And we never properly run away with anything, do we? So at some point it comes down to a day of jeopardy where winning or losing is the difference and we need to embrace it and embrace the madness. But damn, we never win. I know we don't, but, <laughs> but sometimes we do. Uh, I suppose on occasions. Yeah, I guess I guess about twice just, in my life. Yeah, but so why so why not though is what I'm saying is just embrace the chaos and see where it takes us and don't be scared of those awful days. I mean, if we get to Wembley and get fully corbered or something like that, it'll be horrible. I'll hate it. I'll, make, the, I'll they, make my my own mind up as to whether or not I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go there like the chance for having an amazing day out. It would be lovely. Which we've been denied. I've been denied so many times in my life with the playoffs. Yeah, like an actual Wembley win would be amazing. Yeah. They, they often, it's often said, isn't it? If you can do it that way, it's the best way. Yeah. You get a big, you get a, a cup final out of it, essentially, don't you? Which, I mean, I suppose Southampton may boil down to that, depending on how results go. It may be that we get a chance to blow the playoffs twice. <laughs> maybe, maybe get a cup final against Southampton that we lose, then a playoff final that we lose. And the playoff final is three days before my birthday. So I'm treating it as a birthday present when we win. Okay. Yeah? No? You might you might be uh, panic buying for something else in the few days between that and, <laughs> and your actual birthday then, uh, and it's just after your birthday as well. So we could have mm. a, we could have a joint celebration in London. Can't I we? think mine's wedged between the first and second leg. Oh, super! Which is nice. At least it won't be on my actual birthday like the Millwall game was. Right. When I got to go out a little sad afterwards. Oh, happy birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of cup finals, the the youth have got into the um, cup final, haven't they? At the Etihad Stadium against uh, the Death Star. Yeah, they went out to the other Death Star last night, didn't they? Mm. Spanish Death Star against English Death Star. I was kind of pleased. Yeah, yeah it was, I was... Them and Arsenal, that was like, yeah, good. The Arsenal one really pleased me because I know their fans won't be taking it very well. <laughs> In fact, I think I've already seen one of their fans called uh, Saka Victor Moses with some GCSEs. It's like, oh, right, okay. Just <laughs> slagging off your best player. You're well, at that point, are you? Yeah, 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 nice. yeah. Probably just burn it all down. Although there is something, like, I'm going to go full Richard Keyes on this, about um, Arteta. There's something about his manner that just rubs me up a little bit the wrong way. So yeah. I'm, I'm pleased to see him lose. I think maybe it's because he's so serious all the time. It's an awkward smile. It's an awkward crossover with Richard Keyes, isn't it? When you find yourself agreeing with him on something, you're like, "Am I? I must be wrong about this." Yeah. But no, he's a prick. I yeah. don't think he, I don't think he was as a player either. I don't. Re I don't. Just don't remember him being anything as a player particularly. He was quite nondescript. Like I don't remember him being someone who was always in the referee's ear or anything in particular. But God, he doesn't have fucking moan, does he? Just always as a little power move as well, stands a little bit outside his technical area, which I always just think is That's what well that's what annoys Richard Keyes. Yeah. yeah. It is a bit of a knob a knobhead move though, it must be said. Yeah, the the, the rules don't apply to me. And I know yeah, it's only about it's only a foot of grass. But anyway, it still matters, doesn't it? Anyway, be sacked soon. Yeah. Back um, to uh, it, and sent straight to the Hague, I believe. Right. Um, mm. If those Arsenal fans have they, it was a, Oh yeah, so it was, were, it was like two years ago when it they were saying it was a war criminal. A war criminal. But yes. then now they nearly won some stuff. So he was not, but he probably is again now. Right, okay. Um, yeah, so that's nice uh, going over there. Uh, so yeah, but he's, this in, it was initially scheduled for the 4th of May, which would also have been the last day of the season. So right. they've... Death Star, Star Wars, May the 4th. Aye. Be with you. Makes you think, doesn't it? It's, it's May the 10th now. Oh, it's May. May the 10th. It's a Friday night anyway. May the 10th, be with and you. But it's at, the, it's at the Etihad, and this is also between the two, um, our two playoff <laughs> games that we have to come. Ace. Um, but no, I think we'll take a decent follow into that I would mm. imagine Friday night nothing else to do is there might as well um, go and watch another Leeds team lose well um, speaking of cup finals and all that have you seen that they've just released details of a new deal I mean literally in the last half an hour um, FA Cup they've done away with all replays is that right They're all, all the games are moving to the weekends yeah um, but they've done away with replays so none of that Oh, well, don't affect us really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We've had two magnificent cup runs the last two years, haven't we? Yeah. Got past the third round. Yeah. I mean, there aren't that many rounds after it, really. Not when you top them up. Who did we lose to this year? Chelsea. Uh, of course it was. Course, yeah. Of course it was Chelsea. Yeah. So we could concentrate on our promotion bid. Yep. Which is going super. Uh, you've mentioned Chris Kamara on here, Michael. He's got the freedom of Wakefield, hasn't he? Chris Kamara. Um, an important cog in the uh, the promotion machine in 1990. 
Yeah, better, least, better uh, known as a football pundit more uh, more recently. He's been recognised over me. I would say I was overlooked for this. Right. What Freedom. was the, What is the honour? Freedom of the city of Wakefield. Well, you live in Pontefract now, so you've, des- the- you've, you've essentially deserted them. Pontefract's part of Wakefield. It's Wakefield and the five towns. Right. Which I couldn't remember before, even though one of them is my surname. What are the five towns? Pontefract, Castleford, Normanton, Normanton. Featherston, and another one. The, the other one? Yeah, another one. Dewsbury? Nah. No? That's over towards more Huddersfieldy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just trying to the rugby league teams. Batley? No. 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 Osset? Nottingley, maybe? Does Nottingley count? There'll be people furious at this now. It might be Nottingley. Anyway, it's good It's good for, for Cammy that which, he's got that. Which is your favourite of the five towns? Does he get freedom of all five then? Does I he? think so, yeah. Right. And so he should. Right. Does this mean he can, like, walk sheep through the town centre or something? Yeah, you get you get that sort of stuff, you don't like you? like pissing a policeman's hat or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tried that? Uh, not personally, no. No. Right. no. You're Rothwell, aren't you? I am, sure we've yes. discussed this before, which yeah. is... Alan Smith country, that, isn't it? Desperate to be Leeds, but he's kind of weak. It's the Leeds postcode, mate. It's all that counts. <laughs> Mm. It's in the it's in the disputed territory, isn't it? In the mind middle. you, mind you, I think Ilkley's a Bradford postcode, isn't it? And they're not going to borrow that. No, <laughs> <laughs> you're dragging down the house prices. <laughs> so that's good. Um, are you are you making is this your official bid for freedom of Wakefield? I think it'd be nice, right? Do you think you've you've earned it? Um, what, what is it that you've done that means you've earned it? Some podcasts, yeah. <laughs> it's not much, I, I admit. <laughs> Chris Chris Camara's done a lot all his. Uh, He's actually been awarded it for um, a lot of charity work, hasn't he? And we've done some charity work. Say, you've walked that is a bit, true. You? Yeah, actually. Yeah, Wakefield. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I think Camby's Cam- uh, done more than me, and also he like people played like fo- him. Played football and that, didn't he? <laughs> Got Leeds promoted. Um, so yeah, fair enough. And what did you I'm do? Willi- I'm willing what to did you do? Tossed it off at ITV for a decade. I, I mean, why is that not something to be recognised? It- should be um christopher john has been charged with being a naughty boy the guy mm. with two first names I must admit i didn't really know who this was until you sort of fleshed it out i was like oh right he's on our coaching staff <laughs> got a red card rob yeah i'm hoping they release like what he actually said to keith stroud mm. it normally does come uh, comes mm. part of the um the disciplinary proceedings doesn't it got any ideas what he might have said michael um, what a, if he said the same rumors we have what about stroud mm. right the uh the, yeah anyway You'd think, hopefully, he's put it in such a in such expressive language that it's gone straight over Stroud's head, and Wouldn't so have to on. Be very high, and so forth. Yes. Uh, what's the point? He knows he's done wrong. You give him a red card. Just more money for the Christmas party pot, isn't it? I do like that you spread a red card to someone in the coaching staff, though. If Farker's like, call him, call him a pig fucker. <laughs> Sorry, say that again. <laughs> call, call him a. No. Call him a why don't you call him a pig fucker? He, I, he, he hates it. But he's just like, oh, you take the punishment for me. What, I'll, uh, I'll get away with it. What's livestock in German? <laughs> um, It'll be a really long, aggressive sounding mm-hmm. word. Yeah, Le- Leibensticken or something <laughs> like that. Right. Um, what else have we got then to uh, to wrap up with, boys and girls? Yeah, Ethan Ampadu won Player of the Month for March, but that's pointless because April's been a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> well done anyway. Um, uh, the under 21s won, but. We're second. We only beat bottom of the league derby. Hey, we were bottom of the league going into that. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, so, that's true, actually. So we're, we're off the Is bottom of the, the league. Is this the now. rejigged Premier League 2 under-21s league? Yeah, it's yeah. now just one. It used to be two divisions. Now it's one big one that you can't get relegated from. Right, so it's fine. You only have to finish in the top 16 to get in the playoffs, but we're not going to do that. Yeah. But it's fine. It's gone a bit... What have you got ambitions of? Top 16 this year, lads? It's a little bit American... Fran- sport is, is this. it's kinda, like you can yeah. finish bottom and everyone goes ah oh, well there's always next year it's yeah. fine there's absolutely no kind of jeopardy to it whatsoever but yeah the 20, seeing 26 teams in a league table just upsets me Feels just feels so horribly wrong and it makes me worry they'll somehow expand the championship more and I'll have to watch <laughs> 100, have to, 100 games a year <laughs> I'll have to just at some point there'll be like 50 teams in the championship people are like oh god <laughs> <sighs> I did write a blog about this and it was a bit even though we won 3 0, it was a bit upsetting because our first goal was quite a lot like Blackburn's goal at the weekend, mm. which kind of made me shudder a little bit. And then we, our third goal was a set piece as well. And I thought, oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> the Square Ball Podcast.